Hi guys, it's <laughs> okay. That was a bit much. Um, it's another episode here on Senses. You can episode a movie, you know, like release five. But anyway, thank you for keeping it locked. And um, today we are jumping right on it. Squeeze it to make all wale wase waku. Straight to the point. Yeah, straight shots. So yeah, today we are talking about. Uh, it's a common topic, but I would like to address it from our perspective. And it's uh, love languages. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Love languages. Velma, what do you know about love languages? I, I know there are five love languages. Uh-huh. <laughs> Name them. <laughs> Acts of, ser- act of service. Mm-hmm. Which, in short, it means... Mm. And Okay, I'll, I'll relate it to certain memes that I've, I've been seeing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll go bring you an avocado. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, <laughs> okay. Christabel. Yeah, uh-huh. words of affirmation. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I love you. As much as mm. I love an avocado, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. you glow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I uh-huh. love the way you do this. Mm-hmm. Physical touch. Mm-hmm. Let's hold hands. <laughs> mm-hmm. And let's feel, hold the avocado. Yeah, <laughs> and feel each other's avocados. Something <laughs> 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 like that. Yeah. Quality time. Mm. Yeah, let us, let us go and get some avoc- avocados for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And gifts. Mm-hmm. Gifts. <laughs> Take my uh, here is an avocado yeah, for you. I got you an avocado, mm-hmm. like fifty of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Yeah, the quantity it uh-huh. can be even half quarter. Uh-huh. Yeah, as long as you got me an avocado. Yeah, as long as you got me an avocado. That's uh, it. I'm feeling loved. Yeah, so <laughs> that's the best way to mm-hmm. sum them up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So love languages. Um, it's been a common uh, discussion, especially because there's been a book about it. There's been stuff about it, and I can personally speak about it because nimelewa how it works. Yeah. It's kind of like personalities, and it's kind of like unajua tam seme melewa na namtu aji ama seme najua naaji. At the end of the day, vituka love languages make it easier for you guys to relate. So I'd say it's a for me it's a form of communication between the people who are in a relationship. Yeah, because sure. uh, the difference in love languages is where you'd find someone who has a very loving husband saying, "I don't feel loved." Yeah. It's because their love love language is not being met. Yeah, I think the one of the biggest mistakes most of us um, make, like mm-hmm. for me, my love language is gifts. So I don't expect, mm-hmm. like I expect. Okay. When someone okay, yeah. gives you a gift, you feel loved. Yeah, I feel loved. Mm-hmm. So when uh, when I give Christabel a gift, I expect her yeah. to read. Uh-huh. And now for Christabel, I think it's more of quality time. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Quality time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So when he she gives me quality time, I don't feel it yeah. as much as. The, yeah. So we should learn to communicate each. I know it's hard, mm-hmm. but we should learn to communicate each other's nene, love language. Mm. Yeah. I think I think what you're trying to say is the thing that people have been uh, misunderstanding about love languages. It's not how you should love other people. It's how they feel loved. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, if you're in a relationship, I think try maybe take. There's a test. I think we'll link it up. Try to take the test, and maybe it can improve your. Also, mm-hmm. we all have all the five love languages mm-hmm. in different but percentages. In, in different percentages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course, there are those that are more pronounced. Mm-hmm. Like for mine, I said number one, it's gifts. gifts yeah, mm-hmm. and then the rest follow. Mm-hmm. So there, there is a certain percentages to each to each love language. So as much as yes, you give me my main, mm. it doesn't mean you shouldn't give me the others. Neglect the others. Yeah, you shouldn't yeah. neglect the others. Mm-hmm. So each and every love language mm-hmm. play a role in each and every relationship, be mm-hmm. it friendships, yeah, family relationships, and your yeah relationship. <laughs> Even in family wise, yeah. I think we we can move a, a, a little bit away from the conversation of relationships because love is not only experienced in, in uh, eros. Yeah. eros relationships. Yeah. It's also experienced in families and with Kaizo. So like, although I kind of had people say that the love language you have right now is what you were deprived of as a kid. I don't know how true that is. I'm yet to prove Partly, that. Partly, but I don't agree to it mm. because... Uh, I'm used to receiving gifts since... Or, yeah, it can be either something you lacked as a kid or something you felt loved as a kid. Like, if you gifts as a child, you relate it to love. And then it becomes a love language. Mm. 
Yeah, so um, in that sense, uh, just understanding, you know, we've said it's a form of communication. It's like you're in a meeting and uh, there's a difference between giving your point and the person you're talking to understanding that point. I think that's what a love language yeah. does. In Aweka, at the same power where you interpret as the other person feels. And uh, I think, okay, now, mm. since uh, you, your love language is uh, receiving gifts and mine is quality time, um, there are two points I'd say about uh, each love language presents uh, itself differently. But so, so, like, I think there's a common misconception mm. that people who love receiving gifts are materialistic. I think we should, like, yeah. bitu, we should normalize. Like, if I ha- my love language is gifts, doesn't mean I'm yeah. materialistic. You know, a gift is a very small thing. You can bring me a sweet. Yeah. Am it's I materialistic? Yeah. Yeah. It's not materialistic. So. Plus, a gift, mm. I could be happy if you could tell me something like that. I mm. just decided. Mm to spend time with you as, mm. a, as your birthday gift. Mm. That's also a gift. Yeah, it's also <laughs> a gift. It's quality time, but it's also a gift. It's, it's also a gift. Yeah. Mm. So. Mm-hmm. And on uh, quality time, <laughs> people who uh, have quality time as a love language are not necessarily clingy. People tend to think it's all about the clinginess. And I think this is the part about love languages. We have a lot of resources on the internet. Just go read on it generally on what it means, love languages, and what each love language means. Because uh, mm-hmm. quality time, and then you suddenly think they want to spend every second with you. That's not the case. Sometimes, even the five minutes you spend with me, um, are you on your phone? You know, are you paying yeah. attention to me? It's not quality. It's just time, but it's not quality. So I think the more we learn how to interpret how the love language uh, uh, functions, the better. I will insist on it's the little things, especially for us ladies. Mm-hmm. It's and the it's little, the little things, things that, that count. count. Yeah. Yeah. Give me um, one minute, but it's quality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then one hour of, yeah, mm-hmm. of useless things. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think it's the little things that really, really count. Try to give everything, mm-hmm. but wholly, mm-hmm. yeah, not just partly, yeah. Mm-hmm. Same way, the way we just said, a sweet, mm-hmm. or could you spend a maybe time with Zuri, like quality time? Mm-hmm. That's a double tick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another misconception that uh, ladies need a lot to be impressed, not every time. Maybe once in a while she'll get thrilled that you threw a surprise party for her. But it's not every day. Yeah. So don't restrict yourself at you. I'm not going to do this because it's not going to feel enough. You never know. Maybe you're holding back on the one thing that could make her feel loved. Yeah? Yeah. What when I relate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very much true. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why I still insist on it's the little things. Mm. And the way you do them mm-hmm. is what matters. Sit and lay like how huge it is. Mm-hmm. You can do something huge for me. And it won't move And it's me. ill-intended. Yeah, so... Yeah. It's the same way you don't give charity with uh, a camera. Don't give charity with a camera. Mm. Um, intention matters a lot. So the way you, again, present whatever you're presenting also matters. Yeah, so we should always strive to make each other happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should always strive to... Happiness is paramount. (laughs) No, let me tell you, especially Mm. if Mm. I've really interacted with you Mm. for for, for quite some time, Mm -hmm. so I know your likes, Mm -hmm. what you don't like. Mm -hmm. So I should try as much as I can so Mm. that I I cannot, like, do things that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Let me always strive to make you happy. That's what Mm. I mean. Mm. As you both also ways. Say, yeah, both ways. We are not just advocating for at a, you know your Chile likes gifts and you're always giving her gifts. You the Chile, what is your man's yeah. love language and are you fulfilling it? So exactly. to see where Yeah, men also mm. deserve to be loved. So mm-hmm. and they all have their own different love, love languages. languages as well. Yeah. So one thing mm. you should uh, you should first you should know your man's love language in case of a relationship. Your partners. Your partners. We are not making speculations. <laughs> your mm-hmm. partners, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> love language. Mm-hmm. And then try to communicate it. Try to show him love. Mm-hmm. Basically. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it for this video. Yes. Oh wait, I think a disclaimer. We've insisted so much on love languages. 
and um and how we need to uh like you know utilize them but i'd say love languages are just the tip of the iceberg yeah there's a lot more that's you know beneath the iceberg exactly. i know people are joking to me melt iceberg zote but you feel me so um uh, i might understand i might have a basic understanding of love languages but my experiences are different exactly. you know the way my say let me use an example of my parents would uh, gift each other you know wewe umelelewa coast mimi melelewa kisi for you your dad would gift your mom flowers mm. for me i never saw that for me my dad maybe angekuja aseme ah leo nakupeleka huko tukakule nje <laughs> maybe you know experiences also to a and, large extent uh, and some affect. of us even never saw it never saw it <laughs> so we're like just we're just confused like words of affirmation you know <laughs> but probably if you could talk to your mom up behind the bus maybe easy to convey as you know say like probably as a convey for for those people who never saw it happen mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. it might be like uliko uh, nasikia mtu akitoa baba nani not mm-hmm. those cute names that you are used to so experiences to a large extent um, differentiate and i think it's good to be aware if you're gonna you know like express yourself adequately and i insist on act don't mm-hmm. just talk Mhm. Isi kwa maneno tu. Ati babe ni najua unapenda gifts nitakugetia gifts. Isi kwa maneno tu. Do it as well. Yeah. So Kameisha, tumekafunga, tumekafunga hivyo. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you guys for watching this episode and uh, remember to love each other, be kind. Doesn't and cost you a thing. Yeah, continue interacting with us on our social media pages. Mhm. Since this channel KE. Yeah. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, tuko Twitter, bro. Una trauma, tuko Twitter. So, na tutakuwa TikTok. Kwani iko nini? Yeah. Thank you so much guys and mm-hmm. bye-bye. Peace out. <laughs>